right, what is going on? Welcome to the channel. All right, so a quick little FSD beta video for you guys here today. We are on George Washington Memorial Parkway. And uh, it's a really nice day out here, not too much traffic. And I wanna see how FSD is handling itself on kind of narrow roads here. Uh, but more importantly, I wanna see how it does on this um, exit coming up. So yeah, uh, wow, slowing down awfully quick there, but handling the traffic pretty well. So we are taking this exit coming up here for uh, the key bridge. So let's see how FSD does starting now. So the key bridge is the way to kind of get into DC here from Virginia. As you can see on the other side, well, you might not be able to see, but it's Georgetown, which is a really nice waterfront. And here we got a really narrow exit, but FSD doing a fine job navigating through it. And it looks like we've got a yield here. Gonna have a lot of pedestrians crossing. Um, behind me is actually Roslyn. So let's see, FSD does a good job about waiting for the pedestrian and then goes right afterwards. So it also does need to yield to the oncoming traffic here. So let's see how we do with that. So it does a pretty good job about showing you the visuals about who's coming. So that way, like, FSD should know when to go. So pretty much like after this car. All right, nice. And wow, it does a little bit of uh, lane change right there during the turn. But here we go. We are on the key bridge. And for no reason, it gets right back into the right lane. But I actually need to be in this lane. But yeah, as you can see, no takeovers so far. Um, FSD successfully got me here into DC. And uh, yeah, really nice job, actually, I have to say. Great day out today as well. It's a pretty busy day. Um, so what we're going to need to do, actually, is make a right here. And this is a really narrow right turn. So let's see how FSD handles this. Ready? Ooh, nice. All right. Great job there. Um, now you can see we're actually uh, parallel to the Potomac here. It's just to my right. And uh, yeah, FSD handled this part of the drive perfectly. Now we want to actually merge onto the road here. Again, great job with the merge, even though it kind of did it last second. Wasn't really much space to do it before. So all in all, yeah, really good job there. Um, super impressed with the way FSD handled itself. It didn't really feel like it was like unnatural, robotic. It, it felt pretty smooth. Um, and I like the way it stopped for the pedestrians and made way and yielded. All in all, um, this is 11.4.4. Probably the only bad thing it did was move over one lane and then move back, which is pretty common with this update. I'm not sure why it's doing that, but it is um, really making its way. Uh, okay, so here we go. Um, we're actually going to be taking a exit coming up, and that should be the finale of this video here, but I do want to show you how it handles this exit since as you can see here, we got to do like a nice little circle thing. So starting here. All right, nice job with the right turn. And I like how sometimes FSD kind of creeps up to make sure that it's really got a clear path. All right, so we are now making a right here onto uh, Virginia Avenue, I believe, which then goes right into Rock Creek. Wow, smooth job with that right turn. Looks like we got a, a, a green arrow to go right. And voila, nice job. Oh my gosh, I have to say, like that whole part of the drive was so smooth. I mean, 
FSD is getting really good. Um, of course, you don't want to become too complacent or anything like that. You always got to be careful. FSD can mess up at any given moment. Um, at the same time, you know, it does do really well. But keep in mind, it is variable, variable based that if something is wrong on the road, it could act up. So, you know, with perfect conditions, it tends to do really good. So, yeah, with that being said, you know, I definitely recommend people to try it out if you haven't already. If you have a Tesla, you can actually do a uh, subscription, $199 a month. I mean, it might be worth it to kind of test out for a month uh, to see what it's like. I don't know if it's something that you want to continue to subscribe to over time because that adds up. Uh, but if you want to know what it's like and maybe on your next, you know, purchase, you might want to like add it to the car. That would be kind of probably the best way to go. Um, yeah. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you did. This was definitely a fun one to shoot. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel for FSD beta videos, all things Tesla. Look how it got out of the way for this here. And yeah, I'm going to be putting it up for some courses, challenges, lots of test runs. So make sure you subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching, guys, and hope you have a great rest of the day.